Hello, Scratchers. As we all know, in Scratch, there are a lot of limitations, a limited number of clones, sprite fencing, and so on. In Gandhi IDE, there is an extension named Fermi. It will help you unchain the limitation of Scratch. Prince in our community made a video to show you how to use it. Let's check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions, join our Discord server and discuss with us. We also have a code analysis tool. It will give you project a grade based on your code. How many stars can you get? Come to try it. Okay, let's go back to the video. Hi, I'm Prince and today I'm going to show you how to use the Fermi extension. This extension is used to add chance limits we cannot normally have in Scratch. So, I have prepared a simple example to use and I'm going to explain basically how to use every block on here. Here we are going to start with the cologne block which allowed to uh, basically set the maximum of clones we can have in the screen at the same time. In Scratch normally it is at 300 but with this extension we can have all the clones we want but it can cause a lag if you have too many clones on the screen so I don't recommend to have too much. Here you can see uh, the block is trying to create four, uh, 400 clones in the screen but the limit is at 300 so when I create the clones it is only 300 but if I change it to three, 400 and I click here it makes 400 clones okay the next block is the run frames per second this block can uh, basically change the FPS mm, we run in the project the FPS are the number of times you are uh, making an action so for example here we had 30 frames by second so here on this example you can see the project is running normally but if I set to 16 frames by second you will see the project goes much more faster and even if I put the frames per second to 100 it goes much much more faster even a little bit too much okay so basically this block make this here is the high fee render in scratch this is what happened if we use the pen extension here you can see all these pixels and it's not very beautiful to see but if we click on enable we can have basically the pen on HD and we cannot see so much the pixels right here okay here is the fencing extension which basically 
Uh, well, first I'm going to explain what is the FNC. Here you can see the character cannot go uh, out of the screen. That is called in Scratch the fencing. But if we disable the character can go out of the stage and even here we can see the position can go uh, basically infinitely we can also have collision out of the screen using this uh, block Okay, the turbo mode. The turbo mode was also in scratch here. And if it makes action or faster, I'm going to show it on scratch because it's the same thing. So basically here, you can see the character move very slowly, but if we click on turbo mode we cannot even see him moving so in Gandhi is the same thing if we click here the character goes much more faster and if we disable right now the character goes at a speed that our eyes can see Okay, compile mode. This is one of my favorite blocks because it allows user to compile their project. But what is compile? Basically compile is transform your beautiful language code. For example, this into zeros and into binary code basically and this makes the project run much faster because it adds all the scripts in one single script and the computer can read it much more easier so here you can see the project goes a little bit more faster but one thing you need to know if that if you compile compile sorry if you make some a change in your script while running the project some of these changes will not have an effect in your project until you will you until you refresh again the project so that's one thing important to know but i strongly recommend to have uh, your project compile in, in any project you made in Gandhi, basically Interpolation. Basically, interpolation is used on 3D projects. It was also in Turbo Warp and it is used to uh, when uh, an object moves. Basically, instead of just transporting his position make a, a more smoother translation of positions uh, here is one of the most easy block to understand it is basically when you run the project uh, after publish it you can have a pause button but imagine it is an online game and you don't want the player can stop 
uh, their project so here you can click on hide and when you will publish it the the player cannot have access to the hide button this is in the uh, system cursor block which basically allowed to if you click on hide you can see my mouse disappears when I uh, go in the stage but I recommend to use more this extension which is new and have more things to use but if you if the only thing you need is to hide the system cursor this is much more than what you can have in scratch normally okay so here is the last block which basically uh, is used to change the number of times messages are received you normally don't have to use this block but if for example I broadcast a message and doesn't arrive I can change this value and uh, the message will probably be received because it will check more times if we have uh, received it okay so here is all for today uh, if you have another information you can put it uh, on the on the comments if I have made some mistakes you can also put it because I have probably made it so that's all for today and see you in the next video that's all subscribe to this channel and don't miss new videos see you next time